So, welcome to our first vlog. I'm Smokey Joe. I'm the founder and the owner of Bongalong. Uh, all of my views don't necessarily represent the views of Bongalong, but seeing as our Bongalong doesn't have a voice at the moment and it's simply an ethos, I will be vlogging on behalf of Bongalong, uh, talking about the things that are going on in this country. Today's subject is the DA changing its position on medical cannabis. So they have requested the MCC to come up with uh, legislation, it seems, or to bring forward documentation on how to proceed with the legalization of medical cannabis or bringing medical cannabis to the South African market. This is a very great move indeed. At least it will garner some more public attention as well as uh, spread a message that cannabis is actually a medicinal plant which is a very important next step in education for people to start realizing that hey buddy it's actually a medicine all of this stuff we've been saying wasn't a lie it's actually the truth man so that is very cool but unfortunately they have stipulated there that the regulation around these cannabis medicines seems that it has to be coming from some sort of big pharma which means that these same scaly snake-like companies that have been selling us death for the last hundred years uh, will be in control of cannabis medicines which is utter nonsense predominantly because the thing that makes cannabis medicine so beautiful is the fact that all you need to do is grow a couple of plants in your backyard and use them accordingly. Now, what definitely needs to happen is that the plants themselves need to be regulated and um, measured, so to say, because the plants have different cannabinoid contents and these cannabinoid contents have different effects. So as we see with something like cancer, it seems that THC, is the main kahuna for fighting the cancer cells because the THC bonds with a CB1 receptor causing apoptosis in the cells, oxygenating them and then eliminating the cancerous cells. And then looking at other stuff, there are a numerable amount of different cannabinoids that I've already found in cannabis. And these cannabinoids come in varying quantities in various plants. If you look at a strain like Charlotte's Web that they use for child epilepsy, and a lot of the neurological problems <clears throat> uh, it's very high in CBD very low in THC and then the other spectrum of cannabinoids 111 of them so that's the main thing that needs to be researched is what kind of cannabinoids have what kind of a medical medical effect for various problems and ailments but to have big pharma regulating the medicine Mm, I don't agree with that. I would rather just stick a seed in the backyard, grow a plant, cook up some tea, maybe boil it into some, uh, or bake it into some coconut oil, bake myself some cookies, blah, 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 and you have some great bloody medicine. But if we're going to go the route of Big Pharma, then you get sick, you got to go to a doctor, the doctor you got to pay to get a prescription, and then you go and buy medicines at an exceptionally expensive rate, that I can guarantee you. Because Big Pharma does not want cannabis medicine cutting into the existing profits on especially pain medication, inflammation medication, and then of course cancer. Because chemo is hell of expensive and it barely ever works. And also in most cases where chemo was administered in the preceding years after that, the people redevelop cancers, worse cancers, more cancers, and even things like leukemia. So... Yeah, it's, it's seriously becoming time for South Africans to stand up, wake up and realize that it's time for change, guys. We need to fight this on a social level. Peacefully, I must say, don't take the word fighting as let's go out in the street and start beating things or overturning cars or lighting tires on fire. But seriously, you need to make your voice heard. It's no longer the time to say, I don't care because... I don't need cannabis medicines, but I, pr I promise you, if your kid gets epilepsy, or you get cancer, or your mother gets cancer, then you're going to care. But only then I'm going to care, because right now, life is about me and my pursuit. I'm an individual, and everything is about me. Don't have that attitude, man. Wake up.